Hi everyone, it's Colin here with eTrailer and today we have a 2019 Ram 2500 and we're going to go ahead and do a test fit of these Titan Chain V-Bar snow tire chains with the cam tighteners. Now the tire size for our Ram today, you can find it on the sidewall. It's going to be 275-70R18. So double check your Ram, make sure the tire size is the same or if it's a different tire size, make sure that these chains will fit that tire size. Now it's never a bad idea to keep a set of chains in your Ram, especially if you live in an area where you're required by law to have a set in your truck. And these V-bar stud chains are probably going to be some of the most aggressive ones you can get. The V-bar studs are welded to the cross links with these twist link chains. These are going to dig into that really thick snow and ice that you might be experiencing, give you the extra traction that you need to be able to stay on the road and stay safe. We have a ladder pattern designed to these chains. So that's gonna be great for starts and stops to make sure we're not sliding at all while we're driving. Now, while these V-bar studs are gonna be great for those thick snow and ice and situations, maybe even some off-road situations, I would avoid using them in any lighter snow situation where your chains are gonna be making contact with the pavement just because these V-bar studs could damage the road and it will also wear down on your studs a lot quicker meaning that you'll have to get a new set eventually because they're worn down so much. Now something really nice about these chains is that we have these cam tighteners, three of them around the perimeter of the chain. Those are helping take out the extra slack in our chain when it's installed. I'll show you what I mean. Right now we have a really nice snug fit on our tire, but if I loosen one of them, all of a sudden we've got a ton of slack in there. Definitely don't want the, that clanking around while we're driving. So with the included tool, you just secure all of your cam tighteners to have that nice snug fit. The chains come in a quantity of two and they come in this canvas sack that makes for very easy storage. So they're not just lying around in your truck bed, could get tangled up with other tools and other equipment. They're gonna be contained in here and it's gonna be much easier to store. They do have a speed rating of 30 miles per hour, so make sure you're keeping it slow out there. You can see we have them installed on the rear of our Ram because it is a rear wheel drive vehicle. If you have four wheel drive on your Ram and you would like a set for the front tires as well, just use the same part number, but double check with your vehicle's owner's manual. Make sure that you are allowed to put chains on the, your front tires. Now, whatever chains you go with, I always recommend practicing installing them on your Ram a couple of times so that when you're out in an inclement weather situation, instead of spending a lot of time out in that snow and ice, you can get, throw these on without a problem. I'll walk you through that install right now. Now the first thing you want to do is lay your chains out flat and then you will look them over, make sure there's no kinks, twists, or tangles in the chains, make sure you get all that stuff out. Over time, I would advise if you've used these for a long period of time, four, five, six years, uh, just start looking them over, making sure that the chains are still together. Uh, every once in a while, you might get one where the links might be uh, being worn down, getting close to being broke. And if you want to replace that, we have replacement links available here at each other so you don't have to get a whole new set of chains. But again, that's very far in the future with these chains. They're going to provide you a lot of years of service. Uh, with these being new chains, we don't got to worry about that. So what we'll do is just grab a hold of the chains, then drape it over the top and sides of our tire. You also want to make sure that your, all your V-bar studs are facing up. Sometimes when you're putting them on, they could get tangled and be sitting on your tire like that. You definitely don't want any puncturing occurring on your tire. So just go around to all your cross links, make sure the V-bar studs are all facing up. Now on the back side, we'll make our first connection. We got these five extra links that we're going to put on this hook. Uh, let's start with the second one. It's just kind of a trial and error thing. You want it to be kind of loose like you can see right here, but not so loose like on this first one where it's almost touching the ground. You kind of want it up against the sidewall of the tire. So that second one should do just fine. If you go to the front and you make that connection and it's still a little loose or a little tight, you can come back here and make an adjustment. And as for the extra links, I would highly recommend either cutting it off or just zip tying it up right here just so it doesn't interfere with your chains while you're traveling. Now the front side is going to be a little different. We have the same five links, but instead of a hook, we have more of a lever. Now we're going to go back to the same number link that we did in the back, which was two. And put this over top, just like that. Pull it back like so. 
It's a little bit loose. However, we still have those cam tighteners to secure, so we'll just leave it like that. If you secure your cam tighteners and it's still pretty loose, then you can come back and go to the third one. With the included tool, like I said, we can go and secure all of our cam tighteners. Now we have all of our cam tighteners secured. It's still kind of loose, so I'm gonna go ahead and backtrack a little bit and tighten up those links and then come back and secure my cam tighteners. I'm gonna put that first one over top as well just to get rid of that extra link and pull back on it, secure it. Now let's see what this does for us. There we go, it's a little bit tighter already. Just like that, you can see much better fit. I'm very happy with this, so now we just wanna repeat this process for the other side. Now if you got the optional rubber tensioner, don't forget to throw those on as well. Once you got both chains installed, you're ready to hit the road. Well, that's gonna do it for our test fit of the Titan Chain V-Bar snow tire chains with cam tighteners on our 2019 Ram 2500.